we are bringing you a how-to video to set up your virtual open house tours. Step one, decide which platform works best for you, whether it's Instagram Live or Facebook Live or Zoom. Step two, do a dress rehearsal. Familiarize yourself with the app you're using or the platform to make sure you know the ins and outs and all the details. Step three, make sure you're advertising on all of your social media platforms. You're really reaching out to everybody that you know so you get as much traffic and as many eyes as possible during your virtual open house tour. Step four, do a dry run. Practice walking through the home and talking about the special features and unique attributes the home offers. Step five, make sure you have good cell reception at the actual open house. It's gonna be important that you're not glitchy or choppy, so make sure you also practice with your cell reception going live and also seeing how well it works. Number one, just like hosting a regular open, get there early. I actually get there extra, extra early. Of course, access the property with proper PPEs. I use the additional time to make sure anything I'm going to touch, I properly take care of it both before and after. And then of course, prepare it just like we were hoaxing a regular open house. Once you are live, be yourself. Um, try to well, obviously introduce yourself, uh, introduce your company. If you're sitting for a different agent, make sure to properly um, reference them and their company as well. Thank people for coming, make them feel welcome. When the virtual starts, people slowly log in, so try to give a little bit of bandwidth for time to people do that, but then it stays live after as well, or you can view it after the live event is as well, so don't be too disheartened if there's only a few people there, just keep going. Once you say hello, encourage them to ask questions, give feedback. The number one thing about this, it's all about the house. It's not about us. So, you know, we will be in part of it, but for the main part, it's all about showing the house and the house features. So already have your route planned, obviously, your talking points, just as if we have somebody physically there. I think that part will be easy for us as long as we're ready to do that with the camera in hand. But again, make it about the house. So lighting, that's a very important when um, recording a video to do a virtual showing. What I would recommend is showing up early like Brett had said and um, take a tour of the home. Then when you're ready, make sure that you have the main lighting in the front of you and not behind you. If you do need more lighting, um, just add a lamp. Um, that could help as well. Make sure you're looking at the screen whenever you're talking. Make sure everything, there's no background noise and that everything is um, being pronounced clearly for your video. Another part that's really important about open houses is dress the part. We're not doing a Zoom meeting where we can keep the camera off. Make sure you're looking good. I better go get dressed. Ready. All right. So the other thing that would be really important is to have a microphone because sometimes when you're in certain spaces there's a lot of echo and people can't hear you if you're talking from across the room. Make sure you're having a good time, be enthusiastic, have lots of energy. People can't see you face to face so they won't be able to exchange the energy like we normally do. So have lots of fun on camera and engage your audience. And last thing I would say is talk about the neighborhood. Let us know what's great in your area and why we'd want to buy the house. When taking a photo or a video with your phone, it's important to remember to hold it horizontally as opposed to vertically. This allows you to get more of the landscape or the home that you are showcasing into the shot of the camera. If you have a friend, family member, or colleague that's able to help you take your virtual open house video within the social distancing rules, it's nice to have them so you can talk directly to the camera while you're showing the home. To ensure smooth transitions, it's good to utilize the front camera on your phone as well as the back camera. So you can start a video, introduce yourself or the home that you're showing, and then you can switch the camera shot to the front camera so you can see what's in front of you. If you have friends or family that are available during your virtual open house, invite them to pop in and ask questions. You may even give them certain questions to ask to keep the flow of the meeting going. Okay, I know that was a lot to take in, but I have three tips to share. Number one, put some nice music on and create a nice atmosphere. Also, 
make sure the video is long enough so that people have the ability to join and be part of the virtual tour. And lastly, keep it simple and be yourself. Aloha. Thank you.